not only do we have a gorgeous sunset, but we now have the beautiful grey heron who has just joined the show. How great is that? We were chatting earlier how we were missing the beautiful heron from Vuyatela Dam and Biffles Hook Dam, but there it sits, perfectly silhouetted with a gorgeous golden sky behind it. That is very, very pretty. Now I wonder if this heron is just going to take a roost up here for most of the evening. Perhaps it goes down back towards the dam, towards Treehouse Dam, and maybe fishes a little bit into the night. But for now, it is just absolutely stunning. So Carter, if you're still watching, have you got a grey heron on your bird list? If not, you better add it very quickly. You might even be able to get a nice screenshot as well. This could be a great wallpaper, I think. And it's one of my favorite things, is saddle build stalks and any herons, or any stalks really, just standing up on a dead tree like this with very little sort of interference from any of the branches, a nice clear shot. That is my best. Any bird. I prefer to have a leopard, but one cannot be picky. Now, Donna, you've said that this is very beautiful. It is. Oh, wow. And it is going down one last time to fish. Hello. Hopefully you catch something in there. There's been a lot of ripples on the water, so I think a combination of insects and hopefully maybe some frogs. I don't know if we're going to be really seeing too many frogs at this time of the year. I think a lot of them would be estivating. But maybe a few tilapia or little catfish just swimming about. I don't think I've seen a heron in this dam before, in Treehouse Dam, but moving very, very carefully. And there's Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Blacksmith Lapwing also just running behind the heron. Oh, that's nice. And a three-banded plover. There we go. Carter, or anybody that is making a bird list, there's three birds for you in one picture. That was unplanned. That was nice. It's always nice when nature does amazing things like that and just run into your shot. But herons have got beautiful eyes, don't you think? Particularly the grey heron. They look to be almost red. So we're quite far away, so it is difficult to see, but I'm sure that they've almost got a red colouring to them. And I love that sort of black streak that they ha have. Right. Bye, Heron. Who's gone?